Hi, it's David here with Future Train. We're going to look at that crude oil, but before doing so, I'm going to welcome you guys uh, for coming on board. Dave, daughter, daughter, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate that. Claire, thank you so much for coming on board. Dean Osmond, thank you so much, uh, you guys, for doing that. And thank you for all of the uh, likes. Uh, KJU, uh, 70, user 7472, TNT Press. Uh, thank you so much. Make a trade. Look at Basil. Thank you so much. I don't want to take up too much of your time, but thank you for the follows. Thank you so much for all of the follows. I appreciate you doing that. Thank you so much, Abdel, for coming on board. Thank you so much. All right. So don't want to take up too much of you guys' time, but uh, this will be the recap to the CL line. And that's here on the TikTok. And here it will be here. Now, this is 10 days ago. I gave you this information. Uh, the must watch list here, if you're new, uh, this is just a collection of content that I've done on the channel that's most viewed. You can take a look at that. I tried to put the information together for you so you can kind of see what it's all about. Uh, some is in real time, some is not. If you want to view the information exclusively, you can take a look at these sections here, and this is in real time. Uh, the trading guide offers you just a little bit more outside of the primary focus of the channel here. Uh, I tried to give you turning points in 18 minutes. This is primarily what we focus on here. Uh, the trend, of course, I use no uh, indicators at all, just price and then that uh, price action method that is going to show up in any trade. So this, this, as well as that universal chart scale that will show up now. Uh, live trades, I traded all my accounts. You want to welcome, take a look. I did a thousand ticks in that trade if you want to take a look at that as well. Now, here, I believe you can blow out a live account several times and it'll make sense. And also, you need to stay in your trade. And I give you the reason why, how to look at it logically and why not, you know, to get shaken out of it. All right. Now, there's aspects of being a professional trader. I try to make you aware of some of it. And this is what I do off screen, knowing days or hours in advance where price should close uh, would change how you trade. Now, let's take a look at that CL. All right. So on the fourth back on the fourth i gave you this information price was here now i'm not going to go over all of this content but i will touch on it if you are new to trading uh, you're just going to want to find a bar a bullish bar here you want the mid of the next bar no matter what kind of bar it is primarily it should be green because it's going up but again it can go up and come back down turn red just as long as that mid is you know above the high here and if that's the case hard stop there no close back beneath that bar go up and of course, the opposite is here, where the mid is below that low, or the low is above the high, whichever way you understand it. No close back above here, hard stop there, it should go. Now it can close back above here or below here and still work. It's just most optimal should it not do that. All right. Now, that's the price action method. Now, uh, these are static levels. Again, a part of that turning points in the chart, uh, as well as the center of your scale, the upper part of your scale and then the lower part of your scale. So as I scroll through the chart, you'll see where the market became cyclical. Uh, now get your eyes fixated right on these locations. Now I have the center already marked out. So that's something you don't have to uh, necessarily do. But here, as I scroll forward, just kind of stabilize your focus right into the midpoint of this upper part, as well as the midpoint of the lower part. And you'll kind of see the market get cyclical right in these areas. The chart scale do move when you trade, but don't let your focus be shifted. All right. Now, these price levels are static, so they do not change. They are always on the chart and the market do respond to them. Do you have to use all three methods? Absolutely not. And then, of course, I gave you the uh, trading range. So whatever is your functionality of your platform, you pick or choose out of the three, uh, which one you would like to use. The chart scale is most universal because it doesn't depend on any kind of indicator at all. And then, of course, the price levels, uh, you have to remember them. So it's it's a little bit uh a little bit daunting to keep up with the numbers so you can go at it with just using the scale and that just makes it a little bit easier and of course it's flexible no matter what device you're using all right so now the trend is of course seven bars there's the distance oftentimes they'll give you that distance and i try to make you aware of that and of course there's a behavior to the trend as well as you can see once the distance is made they tend to lean back now the target that i gave you the target that I gave you, I gave you several targets and then I gave you a price level. All right. So moving forward, price needs to hold above this level to get those long targets. And I gave you this information 10 days ago, 10 days ago. All right. Now I gave you some targets below as well as above. I try to be fair. All right. Now that 92 is 99 is the one on the extreme here. And then of course, down here that 80, 96, but I told you they needed to hold above here. And I believe that's like 85, 54, I think, or something like that. We'll take a look. But 
I told you they need to hold above that level. Really important that they do so. I did tell you, even if they manage to cycle down beneath here, as long as they can get back above here, they can still get those long targets. But let's take a look at what happened. And again, gave you this information 10 days ago. Now, you'll notice that all the price levels, there's space in between them. So it's purposed why I did it this way. It's not random. I promise you, I purposely put them there in the sequence that they are because of uh, information that I'm, I'm privy to. Now, again, there's a lot of price levels in between, but I purposely picked these levels. So I want you to pay attention to how the price respond once it gets there. And again, this is 10 days ago. All right. Now, we managed to drop back down. Now, remember, we were here. All right. We were here. We managed to come back and get this target. All right. So it came back and it hit that target. Got really close to this one. It just didn't want to make it. Now, as I scroll the chart, now I want you to pay attention to that. As I scroll the chart, remember, pay attention to the scale. All right. And it's a, a universal approach to support and resistance. No Fibonacci needed. No, none of that. I'm the pioneer professional of this method. You've never seen anyone uh, use the chart scale in this manner. All right. So they managed to get up, of course, ran away from uh, the second target, but they made that first one. All right. Now, I gave you that price level and we have not uh, got down there yet. And that was 10 days ago. All right. So now you can kind of see how price tend to respond right in these locations. Uh, if if they stall or turn, that's uh, what's universal about it. All right. No indicators needed. Just looking at your price scale. All right. Now, this is what we're doing. Uh, constantly going up and down, uh, trying to, I guess, lure you away from the idea that they still need to be above that price level and they're going to go up. But needless to say, they did manage to get above uh, that level and stay. All right. So now where is that target where we should be coming up on it uh, real soon here? 10 days ago, there's your first target right there. All right, never made it down to that price level. Let me show it to you one more time here. Never made it down there. Through all of that back and forth, uh, definitely just sent you through uh, that back and forth mentally only to make it to that target. And again, this is not random. All right, so that's the first target that they made. Center of the chart right there. All right, so they came back under it. Again, giving you more of that downward action, trying to get you to be convinced that it'll stay down only to rally up and get the second target. All right, so they're at that second target. Now, remember, we have another one on the extreme. All right, now, this is what price is doing currently. All right, now, they're still above that level. Let me get that exact price for you so you'll know. All right, so we still got that 92.99 sitting up here. All right, so, eight, I'm sorry, 83.54. I thought it was 85. All right, so 83.54. Again, that is not random. I told you 10 days ago that this price level was important and that they needed to stay above it in order to get those a long target. So they managed to uh, remain above it. They got the uh, the first two so far. They got one more to go. All right. So I wish you all the best with your trading. Take care.